2030, for those of you who do not, do not know. We recently proposed um, an automated native support for automated market maker on XRP Ledger. Um, and I would like to get your thoughts on how do you think like XRP Ledger has some inherent cool features compared to other blockchains? How do you think XRP Ledger is uniquely positioned to support a more lucrative and more efficient uh, automated market maker? Yeah, um, as, uh, as, as Lauren just mentioned, the XRP Ledger actually uh, implements the uh, well, one of the first uh, kind of DEX version in the in the DLT space, XRP Ledger natively actually has uh, decentralized exchanges. It's just previously it was supporting um, uh, order book based decentralized exchanges. Now it's supporting AMM. It's just something that's very powerful. And compared to the existing solutions that are widely seen. Uh, on EVM compatible chains such as well, Ethereum, uh, Polygon, BNB chain, and so on and so forth, um, uh, this particular uh, the XRP ledger solution is as, instead of being uh, implemented on the application level, it is actually native to the chain. As 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 far as I understand, it is actually implemented uh, directly on the on the chain level on on layer one, so to speak. And I think that has a lot of advantages. For example, well, we have all the liquidity all on layer one. You can you can you can utilize uh, the liquidity to increase liquidity efficiency. And secondly, we all know that, uh, well, Shihao was just saying uh, the problem with other EVM compatible chains, um, the fact that miners can be bribed uh, with higher um, a gas fee, and then they can uh, they can they can well reorder the transactions, causing front running. Uh, this kind of issue, these issues uh, would be mitigated on the XRP ledger uh, due to different sorting mechanism. Actually, definitive sorting mechanisms such that validators would not be bribed, um, and also uh, due to the uh, different consensus mechanism, which is much more efficient on the XRP ledger compared to other. Other chains, uh, it reduces also settlement latency and it also makes attacks such as front running and also sandwich attacks that Shuhao just mentioned uh, far more difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes, Shuhao, do you want to add something? Yeah, so I think there's actually one feature as far as it stands about the, uh, um, uh, the uh, design is actually there is an auction feature. So mm -hmm. basically, as I actually mentioned that arbitrageurs were always actually wrong to actually trade on arbitrage opportunities, like for example, public information. And there is an auction feature I found interesting. There is actually they, for example, for the next, I think 24 hours a day, um, the arbitrageurs will actually first engage in an auction that you have to win the auction in order to actually trade on the potential arbitrage opportunities in, in actually the next 24 hours. And so basically, they first do auction and all the profits they actually win from the auction will actually goes to the liquidity providers in the pool. So basically you mitigate the future, they say sandwich attacks or this kind of uh, arbitrage profits. And, and even better, you actually start to do the auction and get, get, uh, and get the profits and actually give it back to the liquidity providers. I find that's actually uh, an interesting design. Awesome, yeah, I, I would just like to add one more thing. We talked about um, why automated market makers exist, and one of the reasons we talked about is that scalability problem of uh, blockchains that the clock-based Texas cannot really scale well on public blockchains because of the higher transaction fee. Well, the transaction fee on XRP Ledger is almost zero, close to zero, so it's really, really uh, possible for even the club based Texas to thrive on XRP Ledger. So that's another really cool feature, I think, um, that XRP Ledger. And also the AMM on XRP Ledger combines the good of both worlds. So it's an integrated DEX, which uh, uh, includes the like the advantages of both the order book based exchange as well as the automated market maker based exchange. I think both of them have their pros and cons and you get the best of both worlds, um, both worlds here. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I agree. I just want to, based on my personal experience uh, as well, uh, well, we know there was this DeFi summer period when the gas fee on Ethereum was mm -hmm. uh, just 
uh, too high, in, uh, um, intimidatingly high, uh, such that s sometimes a swap wouldn't, if it's, if it's not of large, sufficiently large scale, it would just not make sense. Um, so uh, definitely, I think a small fee would, would encourage also more, more liquidity, would not just facilitate, but also encourage um, more swaps. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just uh, more well, user-friendly, so to say, yeah. Awesome. Um, okay, so 